Hello, sister. So, what is your name? My name is Rushika Tamo. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Dazna. And you're working here in? Indigo. Actually, Indigo. It's my training. It's oh, my okay. But you're staying in South Darzan? Yes. Okay. So, please, sister, what's your name? My name is Romila Guru. What can you please? Romila Guru. Oh, where are you from? I'm from uh, West Bengal. Huh? West Bengal. West Bengal. Okay. Are you Nepali? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so both of you are working in Indigo? Yes. Okay, so if you don't mind, like, uh, how is Safdar <laughs> I don't know because I have recently yeah, been here. It's just been three days. Two to three days. Oh, so like uh, now you're doing domestic, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay, so how much enhanced salary if you, uh, no, you no, like? No, no, no. Right now we are just in training. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. So now you're going for work, waiting for cap. No, we are going for, for training. For training, okay. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. So, best of luck, sister. Thank you. Okay, all right. Hello, guys. Welcome to Safdarzam. Uh, this is a place just near to the NCC gate, as well as just opposite to the Deer Park. And also, it is near to Sarozani Market and also the Central Second Place. And also, I have to mention it is very near to the Tanapia Puri and most of the embassies here in Delhi. So, come on, let's have a uh, more detailed view about Safdarza. Hello, sister. Hi. Hey, so what is your good name? My name is Sean Mi Oh, so you are staying in Safdarza? Yeah, I'm staying in Safdarza. I recently moved. Okay, and what about you, sister? What's your so good? Me. So me. So me yes. Are you Tangku? Yes. Oh, so both of you are working in Indigo. Indigo, yeah. yeah oh, we're so training, are you? We're in training right now. Okay, okay. So you do your training in Gurgaon or? Yes, Gurgaon. Yeah. Gurgaon. Okay, okay. So I believe that you have a great future, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> That's uh, what we're. So doing. you haven't got your wings yet. Yeah, yeah, not yet. Okay, okay. So training duration is three months or? Yeah, it's three yeah, months. Three months. And every week, week like we have exams. Oh. We're, we're completing each and every module. And okay. that's so how it works. <laughs> you are coming from Manipur and now you're finding a good job here in Delhi. So what do you think? Manipur is better or Delhi is much better for jobs? I think we should answer this. <laughs> of course, uh, Delhi I would say. Okay, okay. So yeah, good luck sister. Thank you okay, so much. Thanks. All right. So guys, this is Safdarzan and uh, we're going to now go inside and let's explore some of the northeast shops here inside. And here we can find like Mandir and also many shops inside. So let's go and explore. A lot of shops like Tibetan shops, like some northeast shops and uh, a lot of like uh, restaurants everything is here so yeah let's uh, go inside here we can see this restaurant uh, Yo Tibet and we can see one Ministry of Pork from Nagaland and so now let's go inside this Yo Tibet yeah this is the gate Namaste so Sorry, this is Tibetan Job. So this is the proprietor. Hello, sister. Hello. So you are the owner of Yo Tibet, right? No, actually. Oh, like you're like manager. Yes. Okay. So where exactly uh, is the owner from? She's from Belgrade. Huh? Belgrade, from South India. Where? South India. South India. Okay, okay. So like this Yo Tibet, mostly uh, you have cuisines from Himalayan foods, right? Yes. All the uh, Tibetan and uh, Chinese foods. Yes. So, uh, like you go for special training uh, for this uh, cuisines, or like it just, uh, I mean, you just learn it by yourself. No, actually. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. Okay. So, like uh, in the weekends, you have a lot of customers, or in weekdays? Yes. Sir. Okay. okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, usually is full. Actually. Okay. Thank you, sister. All right. All right. So here we can see the uh, tables and uh, they have a good uh, white decoration. So yeah, those who want to taste the Tibetan foods, 
so you can come and have a visit here and you they have a very good uh, employees hello madam hello आप यहाँ पे काम करता है जी। अच्छा कितना टाइम से काम करता है तो हो गया अच्छा अच्छा तो आपका सैलरी वगैरह सब कुछ काम यहीं से चलाता है जी। कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ना नहीं है। अच्छा 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 ठीक है ठीक है आप वैसे कहाँ से हो नेपाल से अच्छा अच्छा थैंक यू थैंक यू ठीक है ठीक है Here in Safdarzan, uh, you can find all the peoples from like uh, different states, mostly from northeastern states. And here, predominantly, the people, local peoples, are from like uh, Jat and Punjabi. And uh, here, like a lot of soap establishments, you can find from northeastern parts. And uh, you can find the food cuisines and like. Uh, dress from southeast asia like from bangkok hong kong bangladesh and like different varieties of uh, dress like latest fashion trends over here so here you can also find students and uh, mostly like uh, working professionals ranging from aviation industry to bpo to corporates softwares uh, companies and like uh, F&B, uh, food and beverage uh, companies working in hotels. So many people are here. So this is a very, uh, I mean, like a unique place in Delhi, and uh, this is like a mini Southeast Asia in Delhi. So yeah, we'll be now meeting some few people, and uh, we'll find more into what is here inside. Here, this is uh, one of the shop here in Safdarzang, and the name is uh, Spring and Fall Collections. Here, you can find all types of fashion trains, latest fashion trains over here. So, let's go and meet with the proprietor. So, you can find your shoes, like boots, and uh, you can find jackets and uh, flip-flops and also like sneakers and lettuce uh, high boots and uh, yeah you can find women wears coat bags carry bags handbags and dresses yeah so in detail uh we'll be now having a word with one of the uh proprietor hello sister sister is busy uh making uh, uh wiping and uh cleaning her boots so hello sister yeah please tell me your name sister my name is julie julie yeah. okay uh so your this shop is very uh renowned famous so can you tell me all your products from where uh you got these products some are from china vietnam bangkok and thailand Thailand. Yeah. So you directly have contacts in Vietnam, Bangkok, and Thailand, uh, or have third party. Third party. Yeah. So first, uh, it is imported to a Delhi wholesale distributor, and from them you took the products, right? Yes. So what do you think? Uh, like, is it profitable or it is uh, like low margin business? Um, it's little profitable. Profitable. Yeah. Okay. But not so. What? Okay, so uh, like uh, I know like uh, this uh, is a seasonal business so from winter summer spring autumn So which season is the best selling season for you? I think this season. Uh, yeah. win winter season. Yeah. Okay, and uh, as uh, the festival season is coming like Christmas and like uh, happy new year so like uh, I hope that you'll be selling a lot of products. So like what do you think the supply that you got from uh, like all the uh, other countries so like is there any lack of supply or if there is a high demand can you still supply the products yeah you can still supply the demand okay so there's no lack of supply right uh, yeah okay so can you please tell me what what products are you keeping here boots uh, sneakers uh -huh. and sweater uh -huh. and jeans uh-huh uh, like that Okay. okay, so what is your best selling product here? Uh, that I cannot say only one thing. Uh -huh. It's all our mix up. Huh? Okay. So all are good. 
Okay, so as you know, the buying habits of uh, men and women are quite different. Yeah. So men buy one jeans and they wear it for like uh, at least six months or one year. But girls, like, they're very choosy and they want to keep a lot of uh, these thing clothes, uh, all full wardrobe of clothes. So like, in your shop, most of the time, your customer uh, behavior, women are more or boys are more? Women. Oh, that's great, that's great. All right, sister. So we will be giving uh, five out of five for your shop. And I wish that uh, a lot of customers uh, visit your shop. So, all right, thank you, sister. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hello, guys. This is uh, one of the beauty saloons here in Subderzon, which is operated by the Nordish uh, people. The name is uh, Contouring Saloon. Hair, beauty, and nails. So, let's take a review of this. Hello, madam. Yeah. How do you this saloon? I'm review to it. Hello, brother. Yes, hello. So, you are the owner of this? Uh... No, I'm not the owner. I'm just a worker. Okay, okay. So, like, from how long you have been operating this? Yeah, since we opened since 2018. 2018. Yes. Okay. So most of the customers are from locals or as a mix? From... Like 90% are from Nordic and like 10% are from locals. Okay. So like when you first established this, you just established by yourself by taking loan or from home someone is sponsoring you? No. Like we just established by ourselves. By yourself. Okay. Yeah. So how many staff is there in total? Right now we have nine staff. Nine staff. Okay, so you go for some uh, specific course like from uh, what is that uh, Dharma uh, like VLCC course or like uh, you just started and yeah, practice? We 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 go for course and after that course we start. Okay, okay. So still now you're able to manage everything to give the rent to manage everything, right? Yeah. So uh, as you know that uh, mostly. These saloons are, I mean, mostly for the girls, right? So what do you say, boys and girls, which one is more uh, this thing for your uh, customers? More boys or more girls is coming? Like more girls. More girls. girls. Yeah. All right, so now we'll uh, take a review of one of our, uh, right now, your stuff. So let's just check it out. Hello, brother. Oh, so what are you doing? Haircut. Haircut? Yeah, layering cut. Okay, so how much you charge for haircut? 700. 700 for girls, right? Yeah, okay. So for boys, how much you charge? 400. 400, okay. So I believe that when we normally cut the hair from normal barber saw, they don't provide that professional uh, uh, <coughs> professionals uh, cut. So if you come, if we come here, then we can get the professional cut, right? Yeah. Okay. So from how long you're working here? Two years. Two years. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I believe that your customers are also satisfied. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, bro. So I wish uh, like many customers comes to your shop, and uh, I wish that customers also go back and. Uh, take a uh, satisfaction with them thank you all right, all right thank you hello guys the, this is one of the boutique or clothing store hing and hing himainpur subdarzan so let's go and check it out t-shirt for 350 so here we can find a lot of winter warm clothes and uh, we can find jackets and uh, yeah, multiple options of uh, jackets with fur and uh, coats. So now we'll be having a word with one of the brother here who's working here. Hello, brother. Kesa, eh? Sabtik. How's all Sabtik tak? Sahi. Okay. Ab yaha pe kitna samay se kam kar raha hai? Ye char mahina se kam kar raha hai. Acha. To ye aapka jo saman hai, waise. जैसे कि कोई कोई सामान होता है यहां से लोकल में तो ये लोकल में है या बाहर से आता है नहीं ही तो बाहर से आता है 
तो वैसे आप बता सकते हो कहाँ से है ये सब ये तो चाइना से चाइना से तो यहाँ का आपका मालिक जो है एक महीना में लाइक चाइना जाके सामान लाता है या कैसे मतलब सामान को सामान ला देता है मतलब कोई सप्लायर देता है तो यानी कि कोई आदमी वहाँ जाता है यहाँ लाता है होलसेल फिर वहाँ से लेके ब्रोकरेज के थ्रू आपके यहाँ पे आप बिक्री करता है तो आपको क्या लगता है ये सामान क्वालिटी कैसा है क्वालिटी तो अच्छा है अच्छा है एकदम बढ़िया चकास अच्छा लग रहा है अच्छा 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 तो मतलब जैसे कि कस्टमर जो है आपका यहाँ पे लड़की ज्यादा आता है या लड़का ज्यादा आता है ज्यादा तो लड़की आता है लड़की आता है जैसे कि आपको भी पता होगा लड़का लोग तो एक बार पहनता है एक जैकेट तो उसको एक साल पहनता है है ना आप भी करता होगा तो लड़की लोग तो अपना सारा अलमीरा फुल करता है कि नहीं तो आपको क्या लगता है ये जो सामान जो है आप अगर खुद आप जाके खरीदोगे तो आप इसको खरीदोगे या आप इसको क्या मतलब क्या कहते हो सामान क्वालिटी कैसा है क्वालिटी तो बोलेंगे अच्छे अच्छा है अच्छा तो यहाँ पे सामान सिर्फ चाइना से है या ये बैंकॉक ये सब बांग्लादेश से भी है तो खाली चाइना से चाइना से यानी कि चाइना का सामान ही यहाँ पे आपके पास है अच्छा 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 तो यानी कि इंडियन मार्केट ये सब दर्जन में जो चाइना का माल है इसका बिक्री बहुत होता है बिक्री तो अच्छा हो रहा है तो यहाँ पे ज्यादातर सामान खरीदने के लिए ये जो हमारे लोकल का जो मतलब दिल्ली का जो रहने वाले हैं वो ज्यादा आते हैं या जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट का पूर्वांचल का आदमी लोग ज्यादा आता है नहीं दोनों सब सेम आते हैं सब सेम है अच्छा तो आदमी बार बार आता है या जो कस्टमर एक बार लेके गया वो फिर वापस नहीं आता है वापस आता है वापस आता है बोलता अच्छा क्वालिटी है अच्छा 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 तो आप अपने बारे में भी बताए आपका नाम क्या है हमारा नाम तो बिक्रम है बिक्रम आप वैसे कहाँ के रहने वाले हो हम तो रहते हैं बिहार का बिहार कौन सा डिस्ट्रिक्ट से गाय जिला गाय जिला गाय जिला गाय जिला अच्छा अच्छा तो आप यहाँ पे सैलरी पे काम करते हो कमीशन पे काम करते हो सैलरी पे सैलरी पे तो वैसे आप बता सकते हो सैलरी कितना कितना मिलता है तो सात मिलता है सात तो उसमें आपका खाना पीना रहने का भी सब नहीं वो भी देता है या अलग से नहीं देता है वो सब नहीं मैम देता है सर मैम देता है सब कुछ अच्छा वैसे आपका ये ओनर कहाँ से है ये तो शिमला के शिमला से अच्छा 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 यानी कि अच्छा 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 शिमला से ओके हिमाचल प्रदेश है ना अच्छा 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 तो उसका यहाँ पे दिल्ली में ही रहता है दिल्ली में हाँ दिल्ली में रहता है अच्छा किराए पे तो आप एक साल में यहाँ से कमाते हो सैलरी लेते हो और एक साल में एक बार घर जाते हो या एक साल में जाते है घर घर अच्छा 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 तो आप शादी कर लिया या अभी नहीं शादी तक भी नहीं हो अच्छा अच्छा तो क्या सोचा है आप शादी करोगे शादी तो अभी नहीं करेंगे अच्छा तो यहाँ पे आप ऐसे ही काम करेंगे या आप जॉब चेंज करोगे फिर नहीं चेंज तो होएगा अच्छा तो आपको भी क्या लगता है आप पाँच साल बाद अपना भी खुद ऐसा दुकान खोलने का कुछ है प्लान नहीं अभी तो नहीं है लेकिन बाद में हो सकता है हो सकते अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है भाई बढ़िया होगा आपसे ठीक है थैंक यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द शॉप गुरु Export surplus garment store. A lot of uh, collections here, and you can find uh, a lot of uh, unique and most of the beautiful latest trends collections here, like boots, bags, trousers, and the uh, winter materials. So yeah, this is the owner. हाँ भाई जी कैसे हो अच्छा है भाई जी आपका यहाँ पे जो सामान है ये कहाँ से है ये सब सामान एक्सपोर्ट सरप्लस यानी कि जैसे कि लिवाइस हुआ ये हुआ ईगल हुआ जो उसका जो रिजेक्ट पीस है या जो नहीं बिक मतलब Okay, okay. Surplus is uh -huh. over production. Over production. Yes. Okay. So, like, uh, your this surplus products, in compared to if we go to some mall, shopping malls and hypermarket, so the price will be little cheaper here, or like, what is the range of the price? So usually we keep the prices nominal. Uh huh. And that's what we keep. Nominal price. Yes. Okay. But in compare. Reasonable, but in compare with suppose if I buy one product from here, uh -huh. surplus product, and the same product if I go to shopping mall, uh -huh. the price will be lower here or 
it will be similar to those shopping malls uh, no it will be less cheaper less cheaper yes. so people can afford these branded products here in this surplus shops right yes okay okay so uh, what is your good name brother my name is sanjay sanjay yes. and you are from delhi delhi yes. okay 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 so brother i wish you that many uh, like uh, people come yes. and visit your shop okay so what do you want to say about uh, like any uh, anything about your shop okay, <laughs> okay. nothing specific okay. Chalo, thank just you brother visit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. just do visit we open seven days uh -huh. uh, after 12 in the afternoon till 11 in the evening okay okay hello brother thank you hello guys this is one of the collection shop uh, called seasons it's a newly open and uh, we got a lot of uh, collections here i believe that girls will like it and uh, here winter collections and uh, many different collections here like for warm clothes and jackets and so let's uh, just uh, have a talk with the uh, owner hello madam hi so like uh, your shop uh, i believe that it just opened recently right yeah this is recently opened this year only okay so actually you belong from I belong from Mizoram. I'm Mi Mizo. Mizo. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, like, uh, before you start this shop, you're working here in Delhi, and before you. Before I start this shop, I open another shop. It's been four and a half years, uh, maybe around four years. This is my second shop. Second shop. Okay, yes. okay. So, can you please uh, give some introduction about your products here, like from where you take these uh, products? I import from Turkey and China, but mostly I import from Tur uh, from China. Mm -hmm. So I import directly from China. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as we know, China is very far from India. Yes. So in order to import those products, you yes. use like Alibaba or you no. directly go or what type of Actually, medium? Actually, I used to travel to China mm -hmm. before COVID, but after COVID, it's not possible. So I order from WeChat because I have some person in China. Uh -huh. So I order directly from uh, China. Okay. Mm. So when we say China, as you know, there are a lot of uh, restrictions. Yeah. Like, uh, so you're talking about the proper China or you're talking about Taiwan? No, I'm talking about proper China. Proper China. Yeah, we cannot travel, that's all. We can do business. There is no problem in our business. Okay. Yeah, but it's take, uh, it's take a bit time uh, for transportation and all. Uh -huh. uh, my courier promised me to deliver within 7 to 15 days, but, so, but sometimes it takes 20, 25 days. 20, 25 days. Yeah, sometimes. So once, uh, one time uh, when you make an order, Oh. or make, when you make a purchase hmm. so uh, you have to order in like About minimum minimum how many kilo minimum uh, kilo around i don't know a minimum maybe 500 kg uh -huh. 500, yeah, 500 kg. kg yeah sometimes 700 kg yeah. okay depends on the location because summer clothes are very light and winter is heavy uh -huh. yeah. so depends on the occasion yeah. So this WeChat, uh, when you uh, order the products, do you think it is reliable? Sometimes you are using your debit card and your like. Uh, no, uh -huh. I send, I send money directly. Yeah. Okay. I used to send money directly, but now I send through agent. Agent. Yeah. Okay. So you have some agents to help you in imports. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once the product is, uh, I mean, sent here in Delhi, mm -hmm. you go and collect to airport or. No, they deliver here. Now also I'm waiting my product. That's why we make it empty. Okay, yeah, okay. they will deliver today 14 or 16 bags. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you find any reject piece when you, uh, I mean, import the products or everything is okay? If you do business, if you buy in the bulk, of, yeah, of course, mm -hmm. yeah, some reject are there. Even if I go to, even if I go and pick up by myself, uh -huh. yeah, it happens sometimes. Uh -huh. Yeah, because all are direct from uh, factory. Factory. Yeah, because we they don't give me from their shop. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so tell me, can you share something about your experience when you directly visit China? Like when you go to China, which province of China you visit? Like Guangzhou. Shanghai, Guangzhou. Yeah, Guangzhou. Uh, I believe it's near to Yunnan province or is it near to Beijing? Guangzhou is a, a commercial place. Commercial yeah, place. Yeah, it's a commercial place. Uh, so is it like in near to Tibet side or is it near to the Hong Kong I side? I have no idea. Sometimes I go directly from here. Sometimes... Uh, I go from Hong Kong, sometimes I go from, uh, depends on the airlines, from Bangkok. Yeah. Okay. 
So what is the flight uh, fare if you want to go directly? Flight fare direct is, uh, we cannot say flight fare 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Depends on time. And when you go there, when you select your, uh, I mean, hand collections there, and then when you try to send to, uh, I mean, cargo. Hmm. So, uh, how much they charge for per kg? Uh, actually, I used to send by, by road. Uh -huh. They charge uh, around two hundred per kg only, from uh, China to Myanmar, Myanmar to Mizoram, Mizoram to Delhi. Okay. But uh, now, though it's not possible to send by road for me, I mm -hmm. send by flight. Mm -hmm. 650 per kg. Oh my god, 650 per kg. Yes. So right now, you're uh, making the import through air? Yeah, I import by air only now. So like, uh, so maybe because of that, you increase the price a little bit no, higher? No, I don't increase because of that, but my, my profit is very less. Your profit yeah, is less. Yeah, my profit is very less because I cannot increase my price because of my customer. Mm -hmm. But my profit is very less. It's difficult to save after COVID. Okay. Yeah. But still going, I'm okay. Okay. I don't expect that much. Okay, yeah. but slowly, slowly, as you yeah. make a good repo of yeah. your customer base, mm -hmm. I believe that you'll again recover yeah. your losses of the COVID, right? Yes. Okay. Now okay. I apply custom entry of custom. Mm -hmm. So if I get that uh, that license, then I can import again by road. Okay. Yeah. So can you please tell me uh, when you uh, I mean import by road from mm. China to Myanmar? Myanmar to Mizoram, Mizoram to Delhi. So from uh, China to Myanmar, it had to pass through Yunnan province, or you have no idea. I have no idea how they send it because I send through agent only. True agent. I just deliver to uh, uh, the courier place in China. Okay. Then we receive in Aizol. From Aizol to Delhi, I send by flight per kg forty rupees. Forty rupees. Yeah. Okay. By so, Air India. Uh -huh. if you uh, import the materials by road, so how much time it takes? Same time. Sometimes fifteen days, twenty days. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it takes 30 days also, but mostly nowadays 20, 25 days. Okay. Mm, less than one month. So as you know, the currency of uh, China is increased now in compare yeah. with Indian currency. Yes. So exactly. still, you will choose to do business with China or you like to switch your business with Bangkok or like uh, Vietnam? Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, I plan to go to Vietnam this coming February. Uh -huh. But Bangkok is, uh, they don't have winter clothes specially. Uh -huh. And summer also, I don't like much Bangkok, but China is very cold it's quite cold january and uh -huh. february so mostly i go to bangkok uh, yeah summer beginning only okay but this time i don't plan to go there okay so when you import sometimes like uh, do you face any problem because of like uh, customs department uh, excise department like due to some checking or like uh, they stop the baggage and you can't get the products by flight i don't have any problem but by road i face sometimes uh, from Aizol to Mizo uh, from Mizoram to Delhi only. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. custom. Customs. Yeah. So but then it's from not a big deal, yeah. Uh -huh. From Aizol again, they have to send by air yeah. to Delhi. From uh, from China to Aizol by road. Mm -hmm. Aizol to Delhi by flight. They oh. repair, we repack everything uh -huh. because they don't allow that China big bag. Uh -huh. So they're making small bags uh -huh. by for air only. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. They send me from there. Okay, mm. so as per the Indian new initiative, I heard that uh, from directly from uh, this uh, Kaladan project is going on, where there will be uh, multiple types of transportation, including air and uh, like uh, roads as well as uh, sea route as well as uh, the river connections, river way. So, uh, like once this is uh, everything okay, mm. so what do you think? Your business will be more uh, easy? Yeah, I hope so. It will be more easy. But I think that that side will take time. Take time? Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. So I like uh, assume that to do this kind of business, it takes a lot of connections, networking. So you have uh, friends and families in China, Myanmar or 
Uh, no, I don't have friends there. Yeah, we can say it. We know very well someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, as a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have someone in China. Okay. Yeah, Myanmar, I don't have. Okay. I send to a China, I say. Okay, so when you go to China, like uh, mostly like uh, they speak uh, Han Chinese or Mandarin Chinese? Mostly Mandarin, I think, because we don't speak each other uh -huh. and they don't speak English and yeah. Okay. We can communicate uh, action and uh, calculator. Uh -huh. yeah. So anybody those who want to do startup uh, regarding this type of uh, clothing shops and collections. Mm. So like, what do you say? This WeChat is a reliable uh, source, or this is un actually uh -huh. India banned WeChat. So if you you if you have already it's fine if you don't have now you cannot download from india from india number indian number yeah uh-huh what about this aliexpress or alibaba i have no experience because i never use their apps i never use i never order from alibaba and all i just heard it okay, okay. yeah because i used to go direct china i don't mm -hmm. need to do business with them okay yeah i do by myself only okay okay so uh, uh one time when you go to china mm. like uh you take the products not only for your shop but you take the products i mean as a group for like group of people or like how much cash you carry or like how much amount you do shopping when you go to china depends because my business is not uh, very big uh, -huh. uh so Depends on the time, summer and winter, 7 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs, yeah. Okay, so you yeah. you have to carry that much no, amount? No, 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 we cannot carry. We can carry uh, $2,500 or uh -huh. $3,000 only with us. Okay. Yeah. So how do you make payment there in China, in Guangzhou? Because we have agent. We okay. give here the cash here, then they'll give uh, in RMB in China. Uh, Renmin, yeah. uh, Renminbi? Right? I don't know how they are uh -huh. saying, yeah, we send like that. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. We receive in RMB only in China. Okay, okay. Mm. So do you use any type of other payments like Western Union or anything? Yeah, we used, but it's take time. So it's better to do by cash to cash. Okay. Yeah. So if you, uh, you have already opened the shop here in Delhi. Mm. So like this shop, if you open in Mizoram, do you think it will be more profitable or in Delhi? Mizoram, uh -huh. we have. You already have? Yeah, my sister, not me. Okay, so yeah. which one is more good to do business, Delhi or Mizoram? Uh, it bef I, before COVID, Mizoram was better. Uh -huh. After COVID, here is, I think it's better. But as you know, in Mizoram, everybody is not government employee and everybody is not earning. Some people, they are uh, youths, they are dependent on family, right? So, but here in Delhi, most of the youths, they're big or uh, small, they are at least uh, earning some income. Yes. So here, you find the customers more or what are the buying habits here in Delhi and Mizoram if you compare? Compared to after COVID, here is better. Better? Yeah. Before COVID, Mizoram was much better because people are crazy about fashion. Uh -huh. yeah. But now, it's it's uh, how will I say here is better. Now. Here is better. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, uh, madam, okay. and uh, I wish you all the best and Merry Christmas, thank advance you. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry so, Christmas in advance too. Yeah, yeah. So kalome. <laughs> okay. Kalome. Okay. okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hello, guys. This is again the Secret Brown Studio by Kim, which is like a nail paintings, nail art, everything. So let's take a review. Here we can see all the nail arts and like uh, all the different types of eyebrows. So here she is the proud uh, owner. I mean the self-dependent owner. So hello, sister. Hi. So where are you from, actually? Manipur. Manipur. So you're like uh, Tanku? Yeah, I'm Tanku. Okay. So can you please tell me from how long you have been uh, doing this nail shop? Mm, it's been four and a half years. Four and a half years. Yeah. So when you first start up this one, did you take any loan? Uh, no, I don't think. So till now, how much you have invested already to start this shop? Uh, that's 
Duh, I don't know exactly. Okay. So mostly your customers are from Northeast or all the from Northeast. From Northeast. So how much uh, approximate you charge for nail art? Uh, nail arts. Mm, for nail arts, though, it depends on the art. Uh, oh. If you do extension, extension, the fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. And, uh, and if you do only gel color, though, five hundred. Okay. And uh, did you do any training for this? Uh, no, we don't do that one. Okay. So you just learn it by yourself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how many staff do you have here? Only one, only me. Only you. Okay. So can you manage when there's a high customers? Uh, yes. Okay. So you can pay your rent, you can save money, you can manage everything by just this shop, right? Uh, yes. <coughs> okay. Okay. So your shop is in Safdarzang, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. What is your good name, sister? Uh, Arvin. Huh? Arvin. Arvin. Uh. Okay. And uh, your name of the shop is? Can you please tell me? Secret Browns. Secret Browns. Uh. Okay, so many people those who want to come and do extension, I would suggest uh, this shop. So the owner, she's also very smart and uh, she's, uh, I mean, like very well professional. So, yeah, thank you, sister. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs>